Okay, we're gonna do great. Just don't think about how you're gonna be alone on Valentine's Day. Hello everyone and welcome to another Monday episode. Da, 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 da. Why did I do that? It's the most lonely time of the year. Crap. You know normally I'm a very cheerful person and I love the holidays. Birthdays, love them. Christmas, love it. Columbus Day, love it. Self-established frat boy day. Boxing Day? Don't know what that is, but I still love it. But there happens to be that one day every year that's either really great or horrible. Valentine's Day. Now, I really don't have a problem with the holiday itself. Just people in general on that day. It just happens to be on that day. That one stupid day that everyone tries to make it blatantly clear that they are in a relationship, even though they may have met in the stupidest way yesterday. Hey, Stefan. Hey, Becky. This is my new... Bay. Supra. How'd you two meet? He liked my Instagram post. Nailed it. Yep, that's what society's come to. And the one way that this day could be possibly any worse is if you're not in a relationship. You feel like you stick out like a sore thumb to the rest of the world. I hate you. Welcome to America's next favorite game show, Who's Gotta Bay? Jimmy, you've made it to the final round of Who's Gotta Bay. Now, if you can correctly guess which of these three have a bay and which one doesn't have a bay, you get a car. Okay, Jimmy. Who's got a bay? Um, oh, that's easy. Bay, 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 no bay. You are correct! I knew I should have never gone on that game show. And because I don't want to feel like a failure of a human being, I seclude myself in my room and waited out like an apocalypse. So here are some quick tips to help you survive Valentine's Day. Step one. No looking at couples on the internet. Having a strong will on social media and staying away from dating couples will keep you from feeling like you're forever alone. But if you're like me, you don't have a strong will. Oh my god, so well I Alfie, you're so perf. Step two, food. Stock up on all essential foods, like ice cream or chocolate. This should keep you distracted for an hour. What have I done? When your food runs out, just replenish it and start steps one and two all over again. Now it's time for the last important step. Step three. This is where we pull out the big guns, metaphorically. And this will distract you with no trouble at all. Netflix. This baby will have no problem distracting you for hours on end while you catch up on your favorite shows and movies. It'll distract you completely from Valentine's Day, and before you know it, Stefan, it's Sunday. You haven't come into work all week. I know I have work on Monday. Now let me get back to my Netflix. No, it's the 22nd. No one's seen you since Valentine's Day. Wait, what? So anyways, these are some soundproof ideas that will distract you from the horror that is Valentine's Day. Wait, in the comment section down below, please tell me, where are some ways you distract yourself from Valentine's Day? I obviously need the advice. This is Steph, Sean. Signing out.